Hi all, today I want to give a graphical comparison between Parsec and Moonlight on Google Cloud Platform. This video is intended to show you why I believe Moonlight to be the premier software for gaming on GCP. If you're wondering how to set up a machine on GCP to stream with Moonlight, I have linked a written and a video tutorial in the description. To start, let's take a look at how Moonlight and Parsec perform on the Unigen benchmark. I ran these tests in 4K and streamed both Parsec and Moonlight at a bitrate of 50 megabits per second. There is a video on YouTube, and I'll link this in the description, that goes into more detail about the comparison between Parsec and Moonlight in the Unigen benchmark. I think the main takeaway here is that you can see Parsec on the left, while it does have a higher average frame rate, that's the average frame rate on the remote machine, and for whatever reason, when it's streamed to the client machine, it is stuttering, and it's stuttering a lot more than Moonlight, uh, which in fact doesn't appear to be stuttering at all on the right. While this quantitative benchmarking is interesting, I'm not intending to make a video on a benchmark for a Tesla T4, which is the GPU my GCP machine is using. Instead, I want to take a look at the more qualitative aspects of the streaming quality between Parsec and Moonlight. So let's take a look at some games being run on Parsec and some games being run on Moonlight. First, we have Doom. This is a game released in 2016, and here it's being played at 2560 by 1600 resolution and max settings. In the top right, you can see the frame rate of the game running on the remote machine and then the top left you can see the frame rate running on my local machine that's a 2013 MacBook Pro. Unfortunately the frame rate counter that I used on my local machine did not work well with Moonlight and I couldn't find any substitutes so we don't have numbers from Moonlight on my local machine. Parsec seems to excel when the scene view doesn't change drastically which is not the case for an FPS game where the character is looking around rather quickly. And it, it certainly didn't do well in certain parts here of this gameplay. You can see at this point in the gameplay that I get hit with a shot that changes all the colors on the screen. As a result of that, there's a lot of visual artifacts in the Parsec stream. And this is something I see continuously when the scene view changes almost entirely. There are a lot of blocks in the stream and those blocks will go away if you stand still but in an FPS game like this when you're moving around those blocks tend to persist and they're particularly bad when something like an explosion occurs that changes the scene a great deal. To summarize the experience I had with Doom and most FPS games on Parsec, I'd say that it's good for the most part when there isn't action, but the point of playing an FPS game is normally to be involved in action. And when there is a lot going on in the scene and on the screen, there's a lot more visual artifacts in the Parsec stream. And I think that makes it, frankly, a bit unplayable. And it's, it's certainly, at the very least, uh, unenjoyable to play uh, because when there's a lot going on on the screen it's usually a critical moment in the gameplay and it's also the worst time to have difficulty seeing and figuring out what's going on in front of you. Doom on Moonlight was an entirely different story. Not only were there no visual artifacts but the game looked smooth just as smooth as the streaming looked in the Unigen benchmark. With no visual flaws and extremely low latency, it honestly felt to me like I was playing this locally on my own PC. The mouse felt responsive, and when scenes became active, Moonlight handled it perfectly. Frame for frame, you can see that there's never a moment where there are blocky visual artifacts as I experienced in Parsec. Moving away from FPS games now, we'll take a look at Civ 6, which is a strategy game. Parsec handled this a lot better than it did the FPS games 
mainly because the graphics in Civilization are pretty static. There's not a lot of changes going on in the camera's view, and so there are not a lot of visual artifacts to be seen. Seeing as how Moonlight had no issue streaming an FPS game, it handled Civilization VI in stride. There weren't any visual artifacts, there wasn't any noticeable latency, the game looked and ran fantastic. Witcher 3 proved to be a very interesting and stratifying case between Parsec and Moonlight. Among the tests, Moonlight and Parsec proved to be more or less equally performant on the remote machines and could be tested using the same settings between the two software. However, when testing Witcher 3, which ought to be able to run on Ultra at 2560 by 1600 resolution, Parsec was having a lot of issues. The frame rate would drop substantially down to the low 10s and the game was essentially unplayable. This was not the case for Moonlight, which was able to run the game at 40 or so FPS on Ultra at 2560 by 1600 resolution. It's not clear to me what the reason for this discrepancy is, as I ended up having to run Witcher 3 on medium settings with Parsec, but it is clear to me that Parsec did perform substantially worse when running Witcher 3 on GCP. You can see here another instance where Parsec struggles to stream a clear view of the scene. There's blockiness on the ocean in the background. Moonlight, on the other hand, has no issues rendering scenes down to a single frame. You can see the same ocean in the background remains clear no matter the movement of the camera. All in all, I think it's clear that Moonlight is the sure winner of this comparison. Although the Unigen benchmark shows that Parsec has a higher frame rate on average, that really doesn't matter when the streaming quality is so poor. It would be great to see Parsec improve on this and hopefully see no blockiness at 50 megabits per second in a stream. As of right now, I have to recommend Moonlight as the best software for streaming on GCP. There really is no other contender with this. The stream is clear, it's smooth, and it's akin to playing a game on your local machine. Having tested Parsec and services like Paperspace and Shadow, I feel confident in saying that Moonlight is the best software among these contenders. It currently delivers an unparalleled experience in cloud gaming, and it should be considered as the software of choice for anyone trying to set up cloud gaming on a cloud machine. I'll leave it there, but I encourage you to check out the tutorials linked in the description so you can check out this sort of cloud gaming yourself. Thanks for watching.